Okay then today we're going to do a just a quick video on drawing with a sketching pencil. Um, we've got several different kinds of these in school. You'll notice, we'll have a look later at these different letters and numbers that you get at the end of them. And we'll have a look at the effect of those in another video. But firstly, just really simply, you hold your sketching pencil normally, like you hold your writing pencil. If your grip is too tight, and I know lots of you when you're writing tell me your hand hurts, you're gripping very tightly, it will restrict how far your pencil can move. So if over here I show you when I'm gripping really tight, I can reach to there, 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 and there. That's as far as I can reach with my pencil, which means I can only really draw in that space. You should be holding your pencil so lightly that if somebody came along, they could just pull it out. When I'm holding my pencil lightly, I haven't moved my hand at all. I can now reach over here, up there, down here, right over there, even over there if I really want to. Which now means I have this ginormous space without even moving my hand to draw in. And it gives me much more freedom to draw nicer lines. So we're going to talk about how hard you press with your pencil as well. If you grip your pencil hard, even if you're holding it lightly, often people are pressing quite hard with their pencil, trying really hard to draw the lines that they can see in front of them. However, this means you can't rub it out very easily. It is hard to get your hand to follow the shape that's in your mind if you're pushing very hard into the paper. It's much easier to make lots of small, very light, very pale lines. Letting your pencil find the way to go. These light lines are easy to rub out when you've finished with them, if you need to remove them. Lots of artists and lots of people leave them in. You'll see them around people's sketches. So if I was starting to draw a picture, I would start with a very, very light line. Keeping my pencil loose and that's allowing me space. And use lettering like this, just very gentle, short starch. I'm moving quite quickly because I've been practicing my drawing. It doesn't matter how long it takes you. When I've found some lines I like, that I think I can start to see the picture emerging from these very light lines, then I can go back and still not pressing as hard as this, still with my light, loose hand. I can start to darken some of the areas that I choose and the picture starts to stand out. You can see I'm still gently building up those lines by going over them again and again. Still working in layers until those shapes really stand out at me. Now everybody finds their own way of drawing. You don't have to draw like me. But look at some of your friends' work. If there's somebody you think is a really good drawer, how do they do it? How do they use their pencil? Watch and observe each other and try and come up with your own way of being a successful drawer.